Randy here from Gen Connect, joined by Robert Stone, the producer and screenwriter of Pandora's Promise. Welcome, Robert. Thanks for having me. So, Robert, you call Pandora's Promise the most important film of your career. Can you elaborate on that? Well, it's uh, dealing with the biggest subject imaginable, which is how do we continue to power human civilization without destroying the planet? So I would guess, I don't know of a more important film I could ever make, really. It's a controversial film mm -hmm. where you tackle the idea of nuclear energy. Mm -hmm. What has been the criticism and the response toward the film? Well, what's been surprising to me is the lack of contention about it. Um, I was expecting people to be yelling and fighting and everybody seems to be won over by the argument. And uh, it's been remarkably supportive. I mean, people see the film. It's not a political, polemic, uh, in-your-face propaganda movie. It's, it's a film that's just laying out the case for nuclear power from an environmental point of view. And the people in the film were anti-nuclear, as I was, and, you, and they talk about why they were anti-nuclear and what it was that caused them to reconsider nuclear power, and then the, then goes through the various things that they learned once they started to reconsider it, and turns out almost everything we thought we knew about nuclear power turns out to be wrong, and that this is probably the most environmentally benign energy source we have in order to, that we need now, if we're going to avert a climate catastrophe. So. It's, that's why it's important, and that's, that's, uh, that message seems to be getting through without a lot of uh, contention. How was it working with Stuart Brand and some of the scientists and environmentalists involved in the film? Well, Stuart I've known for many years. Uh, I love we were working with Stuart. He's just, he, he got me started on this whole thing. I mean, he, Stuart sort of pioneered, well, he's pioneered so many things. It's hard to know. He's a founder of the Whole Earth Catalog and one of the you know, uh, uh, leading visionaries of the internet revolution and now this. He, uh, he kind of opened my mind to a new way of thinking about what it means to be an environmentalist, sort of moving from this romantic idea of nature being this pristine thing and, and human beings being this sort of negative uh, force, this cancer on this pristine mother nature to a more, I would say, a more enlightened view of environmentalism where we accept that we're here, we're not going anywhere, there's gonna be more of us, we need to lift million, billions of people out of poverty, that's gonna require more use of resources and more energy, and how do we do that without destroying the environment? And the way that we do that is not by rejecting technology, we do that by embracing technology, new technologies, benign technologies, to limit the damage we do to the environment. And he sort of pioneered that, and there's a whole growing movement within the environmental movement now. I think we're reaching a tipping point that that uh, this is going to become mainstream pretty quickly because every, everybody knows that what the environmental movement is doing is, is not solving this problem. Will the movie be hitting mainstream? I hope so. We're going to be moving out in theaters this summer and going, you know, we're going to go all over the world with this. I mean, I'm taking myself out of the film business for at least the next year to just go out there and promote this film because uh, this is more than a movie to me. And we'll help promote it for you, too. For more information about the film, you can visit Gen Connect. And does uh, Pandora's Promise have a website as well? Uh, Pandora'spromise.com. Thanks so much for joining me today, Robert. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks very much.